The weight is highlighted because it's the only thing on this list that is similar. Record, Melvin Manoff, so much more experienced. Age, Melvin Manoff, so much older. Height, Rafael Carvalho, so much taller. The reach, a seven inch advantage for Rafael Carvalho. Couldn't be any more different except in style or both strikers. The 11 month wait is over. Main event time, world title time, Michael C. Williams time. Ladies and gentlemen, Miller Light presents Bellator MMA tonight from Torino. The time has come for the main event of the evening, the rematch. Five, five minute rounds for the Bellator Middleweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Drive Department of Athletic Regulation Chairman, is Kevin Brown. Supervising at Cape Side, Mr. Michael Mazzulli. Tonight's world title fight brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer, it's Miller time. And now, introducing first the blue coining. At five foot eight, weighing in 184.5 pounds in his second attempt to capture a world title, the veteran brings 30 professional victories, 13 defeats with one draw. Hailing from and fighting out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, introducing the challenger, Melvin No Mercy. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at six foot three, weighing in 184.4 pounds as a professional. He brings 13 wins, just one loss, hailing from Kojima Panama Brazil, presenting the defending Bellator middleweight world champion, the blast, Rafael Campayo. In charge of the action, your referee, Kevin McDonald. All right, guys, this is five rounds under the unified rules of the mixed martial arts. We went over those rules in the back. I want a good, clean fight. Any questions? Any questions? If you wish, touch gloves now. Come out swinging. They have had nearly a year and a half to think of nothing but each other. The first title fight, a second one last December in Italy was postponed. Finally, it gets decided. Talk about who the crowd's going to be behind. Melvin Manos has, has fought in kickboxing here in Italy, so popular. Crowd really behind him. For reference, that is the number of strikes landed in the first round of the first fight. We just saw it. One. Oh, we just got over. Two. Look at the power of Melvin Manos shrugging up. This is where he wants him. McDonald tried to get Carvalho to stop. It was almost a half second too late. Hey, Carvalho can take a shot. Melvin stepped in, landed it straight down the middle. Not Carvalho back about an inch. He came right forward. Got a lot of fouls tonight. We should rename the show Foul. I mean, guys, I can't remember a night. We've had more pokes, more low blows. So you know, you're reaching out a little too. So remember to keep them closed. Can you see okay? Kevin McDonald, you can hear saying, sure. or warning Melvin okay, Manoff saying, there. you're doing the same ready thing, so be careful. Yeah, right there, right there, stuck the pinky guys. right in his eye. Fingers closed. It's a great point by McDonald. I mean, look, turn about his fair play. Yeah, they both have that, that Muay Thai open hand stance. Yeah, he said, you both did it, let's both fix it and, and move forward. Oh, yes. Yes. Two shot, lands for fingers. Finish with one shot. And there's just no setups with Melvin Mantle. No. I mean, again, he, he's been compared to Mike Tyson, but it's so true. Everything is meant to destroy you. He wants to hurt everything. He hits you in the face, he hopes your leg breaks. I mean, he's got bad intentions. Yeah, doesn't set up with a lot of jabs, doesn't move a whole lot, tends to lead with power shots, either the hook or the right hand. Carvalho, very smart, using that size, coming right down the middle, attacking the body. Carvalho's even, uh, even a, a, in a little tighter than he needs to be, Jimmy. He's got yeah. more range than this. He can take his, uh, about four inch step backwards and still land. And what he needs to do too is pop the jab a little more. He's pawed with it a little bit. He needs to pop his head back a little bit, get him to respect the jab. That'll set everything else up. We think of Melvin Manoff going out on his shield, but he's only been knocked out four times in the last 10, 12 years. It was just the Robbie Lawler one. Of course, 
Joe Schilling. 28 of his 30 wins coming by knockout. I support this strategy. Yep. I've always thought Carvalho should try to get him down to the mat. It's hard to do when you're that much taller than a guy. The shorter guy instantly has an advantage in the wrestling because he's hard to get under. Carvalho found and he a way. Pops up. But he's making Melvin use a lot of energy. And Jimmy, that's been a criticism of Melvin from the beginning. It's one of the arguments as to why that first fight was so slow because he didn't want to exert in a five round contest. That was a lot of energy. It worked for Melvin. He's back to his feet, but he may not be the same. The important thing to keep in mind is, Chael, right now, if I threw you in a wrestling match, you'd be all right. No training, no that. Three in a wrestling match, you could go that hard 15, 20 minutes. You've been wrestling your whole life. Melvin Manoff could do a kickboxing fight right now. Switch it over. If you're built, you're used to kickboxing, grappling costs a lot more energy. If you have a grappler's kind of build, you're used to that. Striking costs you a lot more energy. Take him to the ground where he spends a lot of gas. That's right, and Carvalho's standing okay. straight up right now. He's got an underhook. He's bringing his hips in nice and tight, and that means Melvin's the one having to pull down, try to fight that arm, use the energy. Very good Workout strategy. Back by uh, Carvalho, and I wondered why he didn't do it in the first fight. I'm not surprised to see him doing it tonight. Good head position. He's just going to take his time. He's just going to burn up some time and burn up some energy. Pushes those hips in. All he has to do right now, Carvalho, is stand up. Everything else is being done by Melvin. And also, he's keeping Melvin Manoff where he's not dangerous. Against the fence, backed up, no room to throw. That being said, Manoff doesn't need a lot of room to throw, but he needs more than this. He just doesn't have to build for those knees, the over to the top elbows, not from this position. Yeah, you said Carvalho was a little too close earlier. There's that spot he doesn't want to be in. This is a good spot. A you know, farther back using the range is know, a good spot. Thank you for saying that. And guys, when I made that point earlier, okay. where my mind was going is I thought, I wonder if Cavallo is going to try to clinch him. It's the only reason a guy with this sizable of a reach advantage would step into a range that's dangerous is if he's planning to come all the way. Melvin catches the knee. He was looking for that four or five times in a row, waiting to time it. And this will be interesting. I've always wondered how good Cavallo's uh, guard game is. He came out of the same city as Anderson Silva. I suspect he's done plenty of training with him. That is purely a guess. I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm curious to see how he does here off of his back. Right now, doing great with the range. He's keeping Manoff off balance by pushing with his feet, pushing with his hands. We saw Melvin warming up in the back with a lot of jiu-jitsu, particularly on top. I think he was planning to be here. Right now, doing a good job pushing his hips in. Got one arm trapped. It wouldn't hurt him to get that free. There it goes. Remember how calm Carvalho stayed when Brandon Halsey had him in, in what was it, 2017 10-8 round in that championship fight. Halsey was dominant until Carvalho hit that one shot. But he stayed so calm when he was in the head and arm. Look how he's doing now. He's holding on, staying patient, trying to get back to his feet. Let's see the end of the round. A far more interesting round one, but we kind of knew that was coming. Break. This is more of what we expected the first time, Jimmy. And he's fighting very, very intelligently, mixing it up with the clinch, the attacks with the takedown up against the fence, and here got a little too aggressive with the knee. Melvin Manoff able to scoop the knee right here. And man, that's a powerful guy. Just trips him right to the ground, but not able, in my opinion, to get enough done to win back the round. There's something going on here, Chael, with the left glove of Carvalho. Okay, is it the glove, Sean, or is it his finger? It's I saw him pointing to that. Now remember, Carvalho, it doesn't get discussed very much. We said at the time, I remember saying, as it was going on, it looked like he got hurt. You never really know, but he did break his foot in the first round of the first meeting last May. Remember, guys, he do damage this, right? to his Let's left go. hand here in the first round late this time. Carvalho again giving up his range, stepping in close, which means he's likely to be wanting to get another takedown. Very fast with his feet. Very smart to throw those kicks right up the middle. No amount of Jimmy throws power kicks to the legs. He's not real versatile with his leg attacks. Something happened to the bottom of Melvin Manoff's mouth when he went to his corner. He was bleeding severely. Might have lost a tooth down there. Melvin's seeing something he doesn't like. I can't remember his whole career seeing him back up quite this many steps. He really has got to step in, particularly with his body type. Yeah, body type. He cannot fight on the outside. He's probably not really having a great setup game with the jab, with the lead foot. He has to make these big leaps with the hook or with the right hand to get in range and to attack. And he's waiting for that perfect time. He's not setting it up. Moments like that, he cannot let go. 
go. He's got to throw everything in his arsenal when he has Carvalho against the fence. Right here, Carvalho is just going to hang on this head, uses big Melvin, uses as much energy as he can. Knees to the body, great options, foot stomps are options, making him work. This is the dominant goal right now. And Melvin's still a little but Jimmy, you'll notice his hands are already coming a little bit lower. And one thing about him, as John talked about earlier with those four knockouts, is he does show his chin as he begins to fatigue. And with that body type, you're just going to fatigue a little bit sooner. You trade power for cardio. It's reality. It's how he was born. Nice knee. Cavani, Cavani moving forward as Manoff is breathing very, very heavily. He talked before the first fight about being patient, and he was. He talked before this one about trying not to be as patient, getting back to the old Melbourne, which is a blessing and sometimes a curse. Problem is, the old Melvin was a little bit younger. Yes. Ironically, there's a good shot. He's got to attack in those situations, those transitional positions. Right when Kavala's popping back to his feet, you got to make him pay. He hasn't done that yet. Fingers, Melvin. McDonald warning again about his fingers. When Manoff got poked in the eye early in the fight, Kevin McDonald made sure he warned Manoff as well. We've seen Carvalho do nothing but paw with that right hand. The problem that Manoff's having is he's not doing a combination off that overhand shot. Sometimes it's landing, sometimes it's not, but there's nothing behind it. There's not that two, three, four, that set combination that's going to catch Carvalho if the first one doesn't land. All this email is that one shot. <laughs> Melvin just giving Carvalho a little bit too much space here. At some point, he's going to have to step in. Right now, he needs to trade position right away. He's his back on the fence, and he's got the, 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 the taller, seemingly larger man. It just uses too much energy. Trade, but stay on the fence if you want, but trade positions, put the champs back up against it for a little bit. And also, as we discussed before, if you're on it, if you're against the fence and it's equal, you're losing. The other guy's the aggressor. It's much like the mat. Whoever is rest, whoever's back is on the mat, perception-wise, is at the disadvantage. Now, with their height disparity, the knees of Melvin Manoff will never mean as much as the knees of Rafael Carvalho. That's right. I'm seeing the blood coming out of the bottom of Melvin's mouth now. Yeah. He's talking about it. Right he might have lost the bottom, too. Ooh, big shot there by Melvin. You see, it's kind of one and done. He throws one and gets out. That's right. If one will land, so will the second, and so will the third. Melvin, usually known for combinations. And again, I think it comes back, guys, to I think he's a little bit intimidated by the 25-minute atmosphere. I think he's purposely conserving energy instead of going. Again, with the skills that got him so well known, which is going hard, bringing a storm, and hoping there's nothing, nothing left standing. And Carvalho, I'm impressed, fighting a very smart fight, a very versatile fight. I like his angles, I like the way he's using his feet, doing a lot of different kicks, he's keeping Melvin Manoff guessing. The hours that Melvin Manoff has spent in the cage in his career, how many of them have been spent going backwards? That's it. And he has been for two rounds here. The champion through two rounds, looking like the champion. This time. Remember to keep him close for me, right? Nice. Wait, wait. Let's go. Guys, again, there's something about Carvalho's pressure. There's something about the way he faints his hips that's making Melvin back up. Melvin's big power shots, historically speaking, in those fights that we've all come to love have all happened with him coming forward and throwing combinations. We're not seeing him come forward, and we're not seeing those combinations yet. Carvalho right down the middle, kicking to the body. Very smart when you're the longer guy. And his angles with his feet, in terms of it comes up straight, it goes to legs, it goes high. Very good at changing it up. And Melvin with a high kick. Yeah, you can see that. Rare. Am I seeing things where Melvin just kicking in the head? He did. He did. You are not hallucinating, my friend. Now, Melvin's got a guy who's taller, but coming forward. A lot of times that plays into.
to a power striker's game, but we keep seeing one and done. One overhand, no combination after. Carvalho, too slick, too experienced to fall for something like that, unless he gets reckless. Oh, nice knee. Big knee. He's able to pick it up and just drive it right in. Pushes right back to this position. You know, Melvin hasn't had much of an answer for this. Carvalho gets the underhook, pressures him in. He get a takedown here. Oh, stop, stop. Over here, over here. Ted, grab the fence, right to stop a takedown. Well, he defended that takedown by grabbing the fence. It's got to be right? more than a warning. Stay there. Stay back. Mike, taking a point for the fence grab. Yep, yep. Yep, come out here. Kevin McDonald is such a good referee. He really right doesn't right need to get a it. You have deduction. to do what he just did. I've seen so many Defended referees it. break a position to give right. a guy a warning, we'll again. which only puts him at an advantage right. when he was at a disadvantage, back up, back up, back up. Uh, pushed into the fence and about to give up and take it. Excellent call All right. yep. by referee McDonald. And the reason is he was clearly going down. Look at this outside trip. Right here, outside trip, beautiful, off bounce, boom, and he would have been gone That's if right. he hadn't held on to the fence. And, but, and Jimmy, you'll agree with me, so many referees will break that and then warn the athlete and restart. You That's must take wants. a point, which is what the referee did. When there's a clear takedown like that, 100%. Guys, I'm waiting. I've been waiting for Melvin to finally sense desperation and come forward. Come forward and throw combinations. Having that point taken away just might have signaled that desperation to him. He just landed a shot on Carvalho, had his back against the fence, and didn't capitalize. He cannot afford to let those opportunities go. Melvin getting his back on the fence, starting to work his way to his feet. Carvalho needs to pull those legs out from under him, start to get Melvin away from the fence. It's just hard to hold positions. The guy built like Melvin Manoff, powerful, explosive. Really worked to keep that guy down. It's a good position to do it in, kind of a wrestling ride. Melvin doing a great job of getting both of his hands on one of Carvalho's. If Carvalho can get that free, he can just start swinging. He's got wrist control on one side. He's got his legs trapped, got him pinned on the fence. It's an excellent ground and pound position. But Melvin knows it, and he's keeping that hand nice and tight. But he has to do more than just hold. He's got to open that window and get out. Use it. Right now he's not. He's just holding on. That won't save him. How does he do it? Well, not like that. Well, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> If you have a two on one, you turn it kind of turn it into a duck under, you open the wrist, do whatever you can to get that arm up and get that pressure off you, then you can explode up. Carvalho keeping these hips covered here. He knows he's got to stay on top. The onus right now is on Manhoff. Carvalho is going to win this and continue to rack up points, continue to chalk this round off, of which he already uh, succeeded in having a point taken away from Melvin. Getting into desperation territory here. Yeah, the championship rounds are going to be desperation rounds for Melvin Manoff because he's going to be down three rounds to none plus the point deduction. Melvin wants to turn and face and get that right arm to an underhook. There he goes. And now trade positions. He hasn't uh, had a sense of urgency in this position. He's had his back up against the fence. He really needs to rotate, put the champ on the fence for a little bit, or break away and get back into the open. <laughs> Let's go, guys. For all this time, Rafael Carvalho has had to listen to the conversation about the fight, with the sympathy going towards Melvin Manoff when he still had the title that nobody was respecting. They'll respect this performance. Stop, stop. Great. Just take a little break here. Good job by the referee. Stay here, stay here. Kevin McDonald's been outstanding. Ten seconds. Melvin Manoff needs something huge, but if anyone's capable of it, it's Melvin Manoff. Another huge round, Jimmy, for Rafael Carvalho. And he's done it the same way since the opening of round one. Versatility, controlling the range, great kicks, going to the grappling, going to the clinch when he has needed to. 
but not afraid hey, make sure to he's engage dry. Melvin Manoff. Let's not take that away from him. This hasn't been just a clinching match, just a wrestling match. He's been able to outrange Let's and go. strike seconds with Melvin out. Manoff, seconds one of the most dangerous strikers in the out. game. Give him full marks for this hey, performance wipe him so off. far. Wipe him off. Wipe him off. Where's your towel? Wipe him off. Now we're in a situation where Melvin Manoff, he doesn't land something big. This gets away from him. The number that Mercedes go, Terrell go. is holding is a number of a round that Melvin Manoff had never been in until the first fight with Rafael Carvalho. 43 professional fights until he went into the fourth round for the first time. We good, we good. And that was in the first fight. How about? Right there. Wait, wait. All right, guys, round four, come on. Have to go 10-8 in the third, right, Jimmy? Have to go 10-8 in the third. So far, a wipeout for Carvalho. So far, it's 30-26. Melvin Mouth cannot hope to win this one in a decision. No way. Lead knee there by Carvalho. He stuck a few of those in tonight. He's also been using his feet, man, we call it teeth, to kick Melvin right in the stomach. Melvin not showing, wincing, or any pain, but I'm wincing for him. I'm telling you guys, that hurts. Melvin coming forward now. One of the first times of the night. This is what Melvin does so well. If there's ever an opportunity spot in this fight so far, it's right now. And there might not be another one. He's got to know that. He's just not pulling the trigger. Doing it now. But had him against the fence and wasn't throwing. He's looking for the one shot. He is. Unfortunately, most of the time, it's the third or fourth shot that puts a guy out. And how far can you? You know, we remember the Halsey fight, but generally he's not a one and done kind of fighter. He's a combination guy. He doesn't knock you out with one shot. He's used to having to throw a little bit. Melvin Manoff isn't used to having to throw this much to get a guy out there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and Melvin now doing a good job. He's digging to the body. And the other thing that I like that that's doing is it's driving him forward. Melvin has his motion going forward. That's when he's at his most dangerous. For over 16 minutes, we just haven't seen that tonight. But we're seeing it right now. And Melvin's looking pretty good. I will concede it doesn't look as though he's about to stop this fight, but if there's any opportunity, and I think we all agree he's probably going to need a stoppage now, particularly with that point deduction in the last round. He's got to do it by going forward. And in this round four, start looking for it. All those knees to the gut, all the body attacks, that's when you start really feeling them. See if Manoff slows down in the second half of this round. That lead knee, man, has been great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. just aims it right at the gut, drives it on through. Carvalho's really shown some great offensive skills. Everybody at home is able to see that. What I feel like maybe some people aren't able to see is how good he is defensively. Melvin's put some very big shots on him, and Carvalho gets his hand up just in time. He rolls with it just in time. He steps off with his footwork just in time. We've been criticizing Melvin for not getting a combination, getting two and three and four shots off. The other side of that coin is Carvalho changes things on him. As soon as one shot lands, Carvalho steps off. All of a sudden, that target's not there anymore. There's a big shot by Melvin. But none of them land cleanly. He's been able to deflect enough of them that he's still in it. He will take most of the impact with his gloves. Change it up, make it a head kick. Melvin Manoff never saw it coming. Carvalho, to your point, Jimmy, was going low all night. The highest he went was right around to that navel. He got Melvin's eyes. We call that eyes of a fighter. He got his eyes used to one thing, and then he tricked him. The noise you're about to hear is the championship winning kick of Rafael Carvalho. É nosso, é tudo nosso! 
And the voice you're hearing is a very happy champ telling the world, this belt is mine, you want it, you better come in and take hey, it. Hey, we know, you don't have to tell us after that. <laughs> Jimmy, you gave a stat before this uh, rematch here, before this contest, that in the first fight, in 25 minutes, Carvalho had landed 26 strikes. He landed that easily, easily in the first half of every single round. Watch how he's changing elevation, guys. Manhoff didn't know if he was going to shoot, which he's done many times, kick him to the body, Jimmy, to your point, which he's done all night long. He changes elevation, he springs right back up, the one spot that Melvin didn't have protected because he lowered those hands to protect that shot was his head, and that's exactly where the champ was headed. His voice had the sound of vindication. The silence you hear are his critics. Rafael Carvalho demonstrates that he is the world champion. They have thought about nothing but each other for over a year now. Intertwined because of that fateful night in Boise last May. But tonight we said the issue would be decided and was it ever. A dominant championship caliber performance from Rafael Carvalho as Melvin Manoff's final grasp at the brass ring slips through his fingers. Michael C. Williams makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the end comes suddenly, official time. Three minutes, 15 seconds, into round number four, the winner by knockout and still, Bellator middleweight world champion, the plus, Rafael Carvalho. A spectacular warrior steps out of the spotlight as a vindicated world champion steps in with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with the winner and still champion, Rafael Carvalho. After all the criticism of the first fight, to end it like that must feel pretty good. Estou aqui com o campeão e depois depois de todas as críticas que você vem recebendo. E você acabou com a luta assim, com knockout. Você deve estar se sentindo muito bem. Primeiramente, bom, boa noite, tudo. Tô, tô muito feliz. Primeiramente, agradecer a Deus, porque se ele não teria conquistado o cinturão, a minha maravilhosa equipe. E assim, depois que eu escutei milhares e milhares de críticas, tanto é, dos fãs de Melvin. A mídia em si, eu coloquei na minha cabeça que essa luta ela não deveria ter outro resultado, a não ser um local, só para mim ou para ele. E eu fiquei muito feliz de ter conquistado essa vitória com um belo local em cima de um renomado lutador como o Melvin Mahoff. Firstly, I would like to uh, say a good evening for everybody here. And I, yes, I have, I have been, I have been, uh, it's a lot of people been doubt me, a lot of people been doubt me. And to come here and to end the fight like this, it's it's awesome. And I would like to I'd like to thank for my I would like to dedicate this this winner for my my corner for for Andre Dida and, and for Sergio and and for all the guys who are here with me. And I, I'm very happy. I'm so happy. A lot of new names coming into Bellator. A lot of great strikers already in this division. What's your message to them, champ? É, tem, tem muitos é, é, campeão, tem muitos lutadores bons lutadores já nessa divisão e qual é a sua mensagem para eles a mensagem que eu deixo aqui é o seguinte quer lutar bate peso sobe ou desce de categoria eu vou estar preparado para quem, quem vier eu sou campeão dessa categoria eu não vim só para ser um número eu vim para ser verdadeiramente o rei da categoria o dono da categoria e eu vou ser eu vou ser por muito tempo o dono dessa categoria Quem quiser, irmão, só bater o peso, só bater essa categoria, eu vou estar aqui. Together, juntos para sempre. If anybody, if you, if you, if anybody wanna come along uh, and uh, they just need to catch the weights, get the weight and come up here, and I, I can tell you that I'm here for a very, very long period. I come for a stay, and I'm the champion, and this belt is my, is mine, and that's all it is. That's all I have to say. You heard it. You're 185. Come get it from the champ, Rafael Carvalho, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen.